The 2012 Gold Stevie Award for Executive of the Year in the Diversified Services Industry goes to Russell Sarter, CEO, Netcom Learning New York, New York. I started my business 15 years ago. I borrowed $500 from my credit card, and now I have one of the largest uh, IT training company in the United States. Uh, thank you. I like Russell's enthusiasm. It's hard not to like someone who shows that much passion and interest in the products and services that he delivers. And I, I love to see that. You know, to me, we walk by someone that's down and dejected and not interested. My heart goes out to them and it's hard to get connected. But here, there's an energy, right? That's, it's like a flame in a moth, right? <laughs> you know, I'm the moth that Russell's the light bulb. So it's hard not to be drawn to it. Russell founded the company when he was just 23 years old, and which was just basically a couple years ago. <laughs> it's an inspiring book. Again, all too often people forget about learning. It's amazing. They think it ends in school. And what Russell's book reminds you of is all the great people in the world that say the exact opposite and how everyone that achieves anything of note, that I, 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 maybe there's some exceptions, but just about everyone uh, has this in common and believes that if you're a great at lifelong learning, if you're on the path to, to mastery, you can do great things in the world. Number one, I think his genuine excitement and passion for just life, I think, is, is what draws me to him. You know, I think that's one, probably the most exciting piece. I think he's a successful guy. I mean, it's wonderful to see someone who is not so successful with his own business, but also he is, I think, at the right pace looking to expand his boundaries in different ways, you know, which I think is really fascinating. Um, and he's just, you know, he's a, he's a traveled and interesting guy. And so just the things that he does and the stories we compare notes on is just, uh, they're engaging and fascinating, right. you know, and he's a good and nice guy.